Hi everyone, and welcome to our webinar dedicated to the Outlook plugin. So the Outlook plugin is an additional tool specifically designed to centralize communications and make it easier to navigate through your many customer emails. Um, it is an additional module, so if you don't already have it, be sure to contact your CSM um, and they will be able to provide you with additional information and the cost of that module. As usual, this session is being recorded, so it'll be available on our on-demand web page later if anyone needs to drop out early or if you would like to share this with your colleagues who can't make it today. So I'm going to pass over to Sean now to take us through today's agenda. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. So um, in terms of what we're going to be covering today, uh, Sarah is going to talk you through what the Outlook plugin actually is. Now, this should be helpful for anyone who hasn't heard of it before. Uh, we're then going to be showing you how the plugin works. So we've prepared a couple of tours to guide you through this visually. Um, I'll then cover the benefits of using the Outlook plugin, and then we'll wrap things up nicely with a Q&A at the end. Brilliant. So starting off just with some quick introductions from us, I'm Sarah, one of Access Planet's customer support advisors. And I'm sure I'm also one of the customer support advisors here at Access Planet. I think between us, we have wait, five, years, five years, years. Yeah, so 11 years of yeah, that experience. That's, or that's a child. 11 going on 12 now. We, we, we nearly have a teenager worth of Access Planet between us. Nice one. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about the Outlook plugin. Uh, do you ever find yourself jumping between Outlook and Access Planet, trying to reference different emails, or trying to find out what the latest is with a particular customer or account? Or maybe you're always forwarding messages to keep colleagues in the loop, only for them to get buried um, in inboxes. Uh, that is often the nature with Outlook. We know it here too. It's frustrating, and it can make communications hard to track. Uh, that's why we have developed the Outlook plugin, now, Sarah will explain it in a little more detail shortly, but essentially, the Outlook plugin is there to ensure that relevant emails are stored directly in your Access Planet platform. Now, this makes everything easy to find and share, and it also means no more hunting through overflowing inboxes. So, as, as Sean mentioned earlier, the Outlook plugin is actually a separate tool within your Access Planet platform. So, once it is installed, it sits within your Microsoft Outlook, ready to sync your emails directly into your platform. So this can either be a manual process where you select each email that you would like to sync, or automatic where it syncs all emails where the recipient is a recognized user in your Access Planet platform. These emails will then sit alongside your automated workflow emails, making your Access Planet platform a reliable central location to reference all of your customer communications. This is great for saving time as you're no longer having to search through multiple places, inbox and systems for emails. And it's also great for team collaboration because this means all the admins are able to access email history bet between a customer and yourselves. Very handy. So there are two ways for you to set up the plugin. Um, Autolink is the hands-free option. Now, this uh, automatically will store emails in your Access Planet platform where the email is mapped to a recognized individual, so an individual user, meaning you, you don't need to do anything effectively. All emails linked to this person will be archived in your platform for reference. Now, the second option, the manual link, um, is by far the most popular with us. Uh, with this option, you can select which emails to archive into your platform. And while this, of course, means that you need to complete this per email, it does give you a lot more control. And the reason myself and my colleagues here at Access Planet, we consider this to be the favoured option, is that uh, important archived emails are not buried alongside emails that just say, thank you, thank you. That's about my last sort of thing. So yes, uh, we're going to have a look at these two in action. So when Autolink is enabled and I enter an email address that matches a user in my Access Planet platform, uh, you'll see that the link to Access Planet icon at the top will change. You'll see a little tiny chain added to the icon. Now, this flags to me that the recipient has been recognized as a user in the Access Planet platform. So yeah, that's that's been sent now. So if we click next. 
Uh, so yeah, once that's been sent, you will find this email logged against them in the central communications data grid on the left-hand menu. Note that it has been given the type of Outlook, and we can see that it is also mapped to that user, mapped to Vernon. Uh, to click. Thank you, Sarah. Um, we will also be able to see this email when we go to Vernon's sort of dedicated user communications data grid. So any communications mapped to Vernon, you'll see that Outlook email alongside those. Nice one. So yeah, of course, we can also preview the email to view its content. All of that is sort of pulled over from Outlook. It's all there for you to preview. Just going to close that window. So, We've uh, got some outside noise, so we'll just close that to make sure we're not disturbed. Okay. Uh, and that wrap wraps you up on the auto link. So now we're going to take a look at the manual route. So very similar, but instead of when you have your email in there, there is no link. So when you do that, you need to use the link option and decide whether you're linking to a user or an account. So we're going to go with user and you can search by account or surname. So I'm going to pop Vernon's surname in there, search for his user record and then click OK. And that is going to then link that email just in the same way that the auto link does. Click OK. And then you can see that alongside his other emails against his user record. Again, once that has been sent, it's referenceable in your platform and your other team members will be able to see that then. Okay. So there's the latest one sitting amongst his others. So ultimately the outcome of both of these is that your emails are available in your Access Planet platform for both you to reference later, in a nice, easy, searchable data grid, and also for your team to have access to get a full picture of your customer's communication history. Thank you, Sarah. So, uh, in terms of the benefits, we've already covered a few of these already. So, Sarah's just touching upon the uh, anyone having access to the communication trail. Um, that is one of them. But first of all, uh, a benefit of the Outlook plugin would be seamless email capture. So whether you choose to automatically or manually link Outlook emails to your platform, um, you save so much time either way compared to manually entering those emails. Uh, we've also got centralized communications. So once an email is synced to your platform, they're stored under user communications and company communications, et cetera, or your automated workflow communications. And also alongside any that you happen to record manually, you've still got that add option on your communications data grid. So it's going to appear among all of those. As a result, as Sarah's touching upon, you and your team have easy access to a clear communications trail. Um, another benefit is collaboration. So finally, having that, having shared um, central communications history. Uh, your colleagues can view stored emails, uh, pick up replies when we're out of the office instantly. Um, you can also have access to the progress of a conversation with the customer. You know, they, they don't need to check in with you for every update. And honestly, it can just be such a time saver and it facilitates better working practices uh, across the whole team. Okay. So, oh. I was miss I missed out your fancy automations. Let's just so the there we go. Let's look at that. Put together, but seamless email capture there. Centralized communications. Centralized communications. Oh, look at that collaboration between Outlook and us. So finally, just to recap everything that we've covered today. Firstly, I talked about what the Outlook plugin is used for and that is syncing your emails. We then walked through how to use the plugin. So that was both Sean talking us through how to automatically link your emails, and then I demonstrated your manual linking option. And finally, we covered the why of adding in the Outlook plugin. It's all about that centralized email location and being able to collaborate more efficiently with your team. And again, I've been lacking on my clicking. So what is the Outlook plugin, how to sync, and the benefits of that there. Okay, so now we're moving into the Q&A. So let us know if you have any questions. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but whilst you have a think of those questions, we have pre-prepared some that we've had on previous 
webinars of this. So first question, um, can you archive emails that have already been sent or do you need to do that when they are sending them? Um, the answer is yes, you can archive. So you would need to manually link emails that have been sent in the past, but you can do that at any time. Oops. Really? Got a, uh, we've got a second question here that we've got pre-prepared. So will Autolink sync my internal emails too? Because my team are also stored in Access Planet as users. So the answer to that question is yes, but there is a setting specifically for this problem. Uh, you can set up your auto link to ignore all emails sent to or from specific email domains. For example, we at Access Planet would set this up to ignore any emails sent to email addresses that end in at accessplanet.com. So there you go. Yeah, so then when we, Sean and I, are emailing each other about what to have for lunch, we don't have that stored in our Access Planet record. But exactly. on a more serious note, it is really handy for that one for any of your more confidential emails if you've got auto link um, on. And then finally, what is the difference between Outlook plugin and the Exchange integration? Well, the Outlook plugin is what we've been through today, and that is focused mainly on your email communications. So that is linking and linking and syncing your emails, whereas your Exchange integration is based on your calendar and your calendar items. And again, syncing those between your Outlook and Access Planet. Very smooth, linking and syncing. Linking and syncing, yeah.